Hey guys, welcome to tartsstore.com. I am Ripon Dotto. Today I am going to show you how to create a constructor or destructor method in a C-sharp class. So let's get started. First of all, constructor. A constructor is a special method that has runtime support to create instance of the class and this is executed when a new object is created. The constructor's job is to initialize the state of the new object. On the other hand, you can pass the value for the new object using constructor. If you don't code for the constructor, the compiler will automatically create a default constructor for the class. Destructor. Destructor is a special member of class. It is called automatically when an object is no longer available and is being removed from memory. This automatic cleanup activity is controlled by garbage collector. So, what is garbage collector? The .NET framework manages the memory deallocation when an object goes out of a scope or has no longer reference because when an object is created, it occupies some memory. As memory is a limited resource, it is important to clean up and reclaim when the object is no longer required. This is done by the garbage collector. The garbage collector checks periodically in memory that any object is no longer in use or any object that has no reference when detected garbage collector releases the memory space and returned to the pool of available memory here is an example triangle is a class height and width is a member variable this triangle without parameter this is default constructor and here is another constructor with parameter so and this is destructor method same name of the class name uh, with a tilde character so let's go to the visual studio go to file menu new project I'm gonna use console application C sharp constructor destructor okay all right so I'm going to zoom in on 20% okay class triangle private double or height width public triangle same name of the class name which is a constructor this is default constructor so we can test it console out right line constructor is executed All right, and public and make another constructor with parameter. So here is a problem. What is we have two member variable height and width and same name height and width as a parameter so in this case how can we distinguish this keyword this keyword is referred to the current object current class that means this dot height means this height class member equal height which is parameter or argument 
width equal width all right now i want to make a method which will return double type value which is area return height and width all right now i want to make a destructor so i need to add a tilde character then class name i can check using right line The structure is executed. All right. Now we can instantiate this triangle. Triangle equal new triangle. In this case, we are calling the default constructor. So we can run this application. In this time, constructor default constructor is executed as we don't have the parameter. And finally, when it is um, goes, it is going to the auto scope. That's time the destructor method is called. So. For example, if we use parameter then what will be happen? I can run destructor is executed because whenever constructor with parameter is executed there is no effect because we don't put any output so we don't get it. So how can you get it? console area okay so run the application again yeah in this time this triangle with parameter parameter this constructor is executed because we have the parameter so this constructor is exe executed then finally um, we get the output using this method area method and after completing this operation the destructor method is executed that's why this message is showing or we can debug the application press F11 so F11 again F11 it directly goes this constructor with parameter height 2 width 3 but this height and width is default value so default value is 0 and finally area it returns the area and that's it or you can debug without parameter f11 in this time it comes this method this constructor because we don't have any um, parameter then area it must be 0 because default below we didn't pass any parameter in the triangle class all right so this is the way how to create your constructor and destructor method in C sharp Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and 
make a positive comment in the comment box and thank you